Forth says that guns don't kill people, people do. In reality, the fact is that people are who kill others. It's just how they get a weapon and how fast. The faster it takes, the more lives can be taken. <coughs> stated that they think gun control will reduce the number of school shootings, but we think likewise. Having a gun in the classroom would not be fighting fire with fire, but in fact, it will be making both sides equal, maybe even giving the students a bigger chance of surviving. Also, you never know what will happen. Everywhere you go, there's always mystery around every corner. How would you feel if you stumbled into a terrifying, life-threatening situation but you were defenseless. No way of coming out uninjured or possibly not even alive. This happened just because you can't carry what you need to protect yourself. Having gun control will promote this situation to happen. Save yourself from these horrific situations by always carrying a concealed weapon with you. Be smart, but most importantly, stay safe. Lastly, guns don't always mean violence. Sometimes, they mean shielding yourself from the violence. Being able to save your life, but more importantly, the lives of the ones you love, should be worth the risk. Don't leave yourself defenseless. Every year, more and more deaths are occurring because of guns and gun violence. We've already proven that getting rid of handguns can save lives, opposed to keeping them around the gun for many people to use. Not only are guns violating the Second Amendment, but they are also a reason for school shootings. If the government really cared about the safety of Americans and the other people inside of our country, whether they are visiting or immigrating, they would completely disable the black market for getting guns. Because if the government kept track of every single gun that enters America, then they can identify a shooter or know who is responsible for many deaths. But the government isn't keeping track of guns, so there's no real way to completely know who owns what gun, and because there are still markets for guns. Imagine, you and your friends are sitting in a movie watching, one that you've been wanting to see for a while now. You hear the door creak open, and you know that it's probably somebody who wants to the gun. Coming in very late, very late, you see a hooded black figure. Stand by the stairs, looking at the audience. Maybe it's a mom looking for a teenager. Maybe it's cold. Maybe it's raining outside. And they don't want to track water inside. A ton of ideas run through your head, but you know that the real one is the one that you're trying not to think. Something bad is going to happen. You tell your friends that it's time to go, and that they need to trust you if they want to live. Scared, they follow you to the door, past the hooded figure. That night, when you turn on the television, you hear about a shooting that happened. It was the movie that you were seeing. You almost died. Guns are a high cause of death in the United States. If you do the math, three Americans are murdered by, every day by guns. Every year, 30,000 Americans are killed by guns. The only way to prevent so many deaths each year and each day is to eliminate the ability to own a gun altogether. People are able to get a hold of guns, some used for school shootings, which explains why gun violence at schools are rising. So many school shootings are happening that it is now a mandatory routine for the school has to take. The way we use guns today is not what the Second Amendment intended. We use guns to protect ourselves, while the Second Amendment intended for us to use them to protect the state. A lot of people say that the Second Amendment is no longer needed. We have a ready army to protect the country. And we don't need what the Second Amendment calls a militia to protect the state. An army is enough. The Second Amendment does not say anywhere that we're allowed to use the guns to protect ourselves. Even so, people are using registered guns to harm others, because the country allows guns to be sold to civilians. Even though children in, every, in most every school are being taught school shooting procedures, it's not enough to prevent children or staff from being hurt or killed. The only way to prevent such a thing is to remove the element of guns altogether. Gun safety cannot be enough to prevent these things. Gun violence is rising, and it's our duty to stop people from using guns to harm others. If there's no guns to harm anyone with, then, there people, then more people won't be harmed. should have the right to carry a concealed handgun. In 2008, the Supreme Court ruled the Second Amendment doesn't only apply to militia. And 
Before the Newton shooting, the laws and guns were going the complete other way. Michigan passed a law that allowed people to carry concealed handguns in schools. Giving people the constitutional right to own a gun will not enhance violence, but in fact will lessen it, because in a world with so much violence, might come in. Come on. Now that you have heard both arguments, it's time to ask yourself, banning guns won't stop tragic events from happening. It will just make you helpless. Is it really worth risking?